So I'm gonna show some range of motion of the knee with a, a physio ball here. And then I'm gonna give you a couple options if you don't happen to have one of these. Um, but when the knee is swollen, uh, doesn't have full range of motion, uh, and it get, feels a little stiff, often some rhythmic movement can really help. What I don't find help is jamming it or forcing it into an end range position. So um, especially when there's a little swelling, rhythmic range of motion gets that swelling moving and can get it out of the joint. And so this is a gentle technique that can help to restore some knee range of motion. So I'm gonna do it on the, the table here, but at home certainly you can do it on the floor. So I'm gonna come here and I'm just gonna get my knees up on the ball. I'm gonna get my heels on here, okay? And then I'm gonna straighten my knees and bend my knees. I'm doing both as far as I comfortably can. So if it's painful past this point, that's where you'll stop. If it's painful past this point, that's where you'll stop. And then we're, we're just gonna do this for a couple of minutes. So not timing reps or not counting reps here, but at least two minutes, ideally three or more, because we need a lot of kind of movement. Our knee goes through a lot of cycles of flexion and extension throughout the day. But when it's stiff, we tend to avoid moving it because it hurts. Um, but we need to get a lot of cycles through the knee to help to restore some of this motion. As I progress, I can go all the way straight and kind of squeeze the quad. And then I can really pull with my hamstrings, trying to get all the way heels to my butt. But that's only if that's pain-free. Okay, so I want this to be a pain-free technique. What I'm hoping, or we often find, is that as we go a couple of minutes, things start to loosen up and you can go a little further than maybe you did before, okay? So that's how we can do that using a ball. If you don't have a ball, a couple other options. Sometimes people will have a roller, and so I can come down. Often if it's a smaller roller like this, I just wanna maybe do one leg, but it's kind of same thing. I can come out and back. I like the ball a little better. It's got a little more support and I kind of have to adjust this here and there, but same idea there is I can come in and out with a roller um, and then I can start to go further. So that's how we can do it with a roller if you don't have a ball. So if your knee's stiff and painful, give that a shot. Again, that should be a totally pain-free drill.